Hello everyone, welcome to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at The Mark of Athena, Chapter 24, Finishing Leo Section. And it starts off with uh, Leo following um, Afros, Afros, I think. And we learn that they're, the name of that creature is uh, Ikiocentaurs. Ikki, I believe I, I can't tell from the spelling, but in the story, Leo says Iki Iki what? So I imagine it's Ikio centaurs. So these are Ikio centaurs, um, Bythos and Afros, and it's so funny because Leo makes a joke saying, "Hey, do they call you um, Afros because of your? It looks like he kind of has an Afro for a hair, but he doesn't get it." And so Leo kind of learns about um, about Afros and you know a little bit about like who they are and how they're um, Chiron's uh, half brothers, I think. And eventually we learn that they train uh, the mermaids and underwater heroes just like um, Chiron does in Camp Half Blood. So they're going through these this like jungle of of seaweed of kelp just coming up from the ground like as tall as apartment buildings as skyscrapers uh leo thinks about running away but ah, he probably couldn't escape so he just follows um afros and they end up going to this hill and they look down and they can see an entire training camp full of merfolk um just practicing with swords and different things there's hippocampi those are like the uh, seahorses and uh, there's a whole village of just uh, like camp half-blood of young demigods training but these are mer people and afros kind of explains that him and his brother have trained all the great mer heroes and uh afro says name a mer hero i bet we've trained that hero uh, Leo's like, uh, the little mermaid? <laughs> and Afros is like, who? And then he starts to name some people, which is some really weird underwater names. And then he's like, and Bill. And Leo's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard a lot about Bill. Yeah, yeah, we trained Bill. And Leo's like, oh, what, what did you train him in? Um, combat? Because um, Afros has this huge sword on his back uh leo makes some arnold schwarzenegger comparisons if you've ever seen arnold schwarzenegger in the terminator just huge muscles and he was in another a uh, really famous old movie called conan the barbarian where he just looks like this uh fighter with no shirt and a huge sword and that's kind of what um what afros looks like or yeah afros and so uh so he's like man you must be the combat teacher and afro's like no why does everyone think i'm the combat teacher i teach cooking and sewing and how to make a home and he's like he just teaches all of the um the home economics is what we call it in english the the home um lessons the home uh tools or skills and uh, later on here, when Leo's sharing his story, he takes out these two sharp needles and he starts knitting, <laughs> uh, which is really funny. So Afros tells Leo, hey, tell me your story. And if you're telling the truth, then we'll let you go. And if you're lying, we'll probably have to kill you. So Leo just tells his whole story from like being born all the way to meeting Afros right now. And Afros is knitting and he's, whoa, yeah, tell me more. Uh-huh, go on. And he's just kind of knitting, listening to Leo's story. And Leo just Pow! shares everything. Well, um, Afros is like, okay, yeah, I believe you. Sounds good. Everything you said matches with Hazel's. Um, let's go get Frank and you guys are free to go. So he whistles, which kind of sounds like a, <laughs> I, I don't know, a dolphin sound. And uh, Hazel comes with two mermaids. And at first, Leo looks at the mermaids and they're kind of, 
hissing sound and they had their teeth showing and Leo's like, oh man, what's going on? Oh, they're just laughing. That's just how they laugh. And Hazel's laughing and they're all best friends. And uh, Hazel kind of shares her experience that the mermaids really loved her and they found out she befriended um, Arion and they're really impressed because they heard of Arion and they just thought Hazel was the coolest and they all became best friends and Hazel got their phone numbers written on her arm and um, yeah, they invited her to come back. <laughs> so Hazel and, and uh, Leo kind of sit on this hill waiting for Frank to come. And during this time, um, Frank starts, not Frank, Leo starts to share that he told Frank about what happened and why Hazel and him were holding hands. And as Hazel is kind of talking about like, yeah, Frank's really afraid of you. Um, Leo kind of pieces it together from hearing another story of a hero that his life was tied to a burning piece of wood. And so he kind of imagines always looking at Hazel uh, hold her jacket whenever there's fire or they talk about fire or talk about Frank. She always holds her breast pocket. And Leo kind of thinks, oh, I bet Frank gave her the fire. And he just starts to piece it all together. And he starts to understand and he guesses and and Hazel's like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I can't talk about it. And but Leo at least understands uh, completely. And they talk about Frank's problem of life. And and Leo's like, man, yeah, Frank's pretty awesome. But I can understand it came with a really big cost. Um, Frank comes over and they say, OK, guys, uh, you're free. Um, everyone story is right and we wish you guys the best and um, go up and see your friends and, and it's okay. Uh, Leo says, hey, are, are you sure you don't want Percy to come and, and visit you guys? And they're like, no, 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 we don't want to get into politics with Poseidon's son, but tell him that we'll definitely help out well, with that aquarium and in Atlanta and we'll, we'll send a quest out to go save those sea creatures. And they're awesome, thank you. Before they go, they give some tips. Um, Frank, remember, you can change into many different uh, sea creatures. It's all in the breathing. Oh, relax, you can do it. And he says, um, turning into a goldfish is really cool, but try changing into a man of war. And that's like this crazy jellyfish beast thing. Man, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see if Frank turns into that. Um, Google that. Google the picture. Man of War. Man, those guys are crazy looking. Uh, they say, hey, Hazel, uh, please come back again. We'd love to see you so much, and uh, we just can't wait for you to visit. Oh, and uh, here's this letter for Athena, or not Athena, um, for Annabeth. Um, give it to the river Tiberius, and, uh, and they, she might, that river might help Annabeth uh, find her way for the Mark of Athena. Oh, and Leo, um, here are some brownies for you. And Leo, hey, you know, stick close to Frank and Hazel when you get to Rome because they're going to need some uh, mechanical help. Uh, we don't know what that means, but they kind of give some advice to Leo to stay with them. And then they shoot off some little bubbles at him and whoo, they uh, go up back to the boat. That's how it ends. Vocabulary. First one is a bonnet. <laughs> A bonnet is kind of like, um, if you think about America in the South, the women had like this hat that covered their face and it came around the back. You can easily Google this picture. But babies also kind of wear this hat and that covers the back of their head and they tie it at the bottom and you can really just see their face. And uh, Afros makes a baby bonnet while he's listening to Leo's story. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, but I'm going to say Skolopendra. Uh, Skolopendra is that monster that Leo fought and threw the fire in. You can actually Google this word and you can see a lot of centipedes. But if you if you kind of look a little closer, you can see some um, mystical creatures that are like lobster, shrimp, centipede, uh, monster creatures. And you can just kind of get an idea of what the monster might have looked like. Reluctant means um, holding back, um, wanting maybe to do something, but not sure if you really want to do it. <laughs> Looking at this owl here in this picture, I just imagine 
uh, an owl's first time flying. And it's maybe going on the branch and it wants to fly, but it's a little reluctant. Oh man, what if I, what if I fall? What if I drop? Oh, I don't, I don't really want to do this. I don't know. Uh, that feeling is reluctant. And I think Leo felt reluctant to run away. Corrosiveness. Um, corrosive means um, can um, turn into dust or goo from an acid or some other chemical that breaks it down, the atoms, that breaks down the pieces. And so uh, if you think about the wood, um, Leo was wondering about its corrosiveness. How corrosive can it be? In the salt water, is the salt water destroying or taking apart that piece of wood? But it's safe, it's protected in the air bubble, it's okay. Um, yeah, th but that's a kind of word to think. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to look here, think of an example of something's corrosiveness. It's ability to corrode, to become smaller and smaller pieces and to have bacteria or acids or metals or salt destroy it back to its basic elements. Uh, flinch is like, hoo, 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 that kind of quick, quick jumping movement that you can't really control. All right, discussion question for you. Okay, I really want you to think hard about this one. Who is Bill? Who is this mer hero, Bill? That's so wonderful. Okay, that's not, that's not the question. We can talk about Bill all day. We have no idea. The real question is, have you ever guessed someone's secret? Because as Leo is piecing together this puzzle, Frank was already going to tell him, but he kind of understands that Frank's life is tied to this firewood and that Hazel is carrying it. And he just kind of guesses the whole thing just from observation, history, and uh, gaining some knowledge. H have you ever been able to do that with a friend? or maybe a birthday present or Christmas present, something, and you were able to guess the secret inside by shaking it or hearing or talking or uh, getting information. Of course, please make your own discussion question. That is all the time that we have for today. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.